Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and this video is part of a three-part series on how to copy and paste cells with VBA macros. This video is from my VBA Pro course where you will learn how to automate Excel to save time with your job and advance in your career. If you're interested in learning more about VBA, I recommend checking out my free training series on macros and VBA. I will put a link at the end of this video where you can get access to the free training series. Now let's learn something about copy and paste. All right, so in the next three videos, we're going to talk about three different methods for copying and pasting in VBA. So this is a very common task that we do in Excel, and it's good to know how to do it in VBA as well and the different methods you can use because you can make it a little more efficient than a normal copy-paste in Excel. So the first one we'll talk about is this uh, range.copy method. Then I'm also going to talk about how to set the values of cells to the values of other cells. And then we'll look at the uh, some paste special examples. So let's just start with the uh, range.copy method. So the range.copy method is, is very straightforward. It's basically you just use this copy method and then you specify the range where you want to paste to. So I'm going to go ahead and type one out here so you can see exactly how it works. So we have, we're specifying cell or uh, range A1 and then I hit dot copy. And then once I hit the space, you could see that the, there's just one optional parameter here for the destination, and that would be the range that we want to paste to. So in this case, if we want to paste to cell C1, then basically this is just going to do a straight copy and paste uh, from A1 to C1. So let's go ahead and start stepping through this so we can see how it works. I'm just going to delete this line here because I have the same line below and I'm going to move the VB editor over just a bit here. So I basically have two workbooks here. Book one here has a few uh, items in range A1 to A3, and then book two is blank. Now, since I didn't specify the active workbook or the active worksheet here, it's best when I run this to make sure that book one is active because I want to start here with the active workbook. So that's my active workbook. I'm just going to hit F8 to start stepping through this. And you can see uh, when I ran that line of code, uh, A1 was just copied directly to C1 there. It's just a normal copy paste. It's not going to do any sp paste special like pasting values or anything like that. It's just a straight copy paste. Now you can also use the copy method on a range of cells. So in this example here, I've specified range A1 to A3, and then I'm going to paste to this destination uh, D1 to D3. So I'll hit F8, and you can see everything here basically has been copied right here within my uh, worksheet. You also notice that I'm not having to select cells here before I do this copy and paste. That's one thing you don't get in the, uh, the macro recorder, or what you do get in the macro recorder is all the cells that you select. You don't have to do that with VBA. You don't actually have to select those cells before you do a copy or a paste. So you can also use range.copy to uh, copy between worksheets. So here in this example, uh, just move this back over so you can see it a little bit. Uh, basically, we're copying from uh, sheet 1, range A1, and then our destination here will be sheet 2, range A1. So you can use copy this copy method between worksheets. And that's basically, if I run that now, this is going to... Uh, again, start here, just copy A1, and then paste it to Sheet 2. So if I go to Sheet 2, you can see here's my paste right here. And this also works between workbooks as well. So here, I basically have more of a fully qualified line of code uh, where I'm starting with Book 1, Sheet 1, Range A1, or Cell A1, and then copying it to Book 2, Sheet 1, A1. You also notice I uh, broke this into two lines, and I did that with this underscore character here. So if you end the line with an underscore character, you can then continue it on uh, basically to the next line. So space underscore character and then uh, you can continue that code onto the next line. I usually also indent it here just so I know that that's, that line's continued on. It's a little easier to read that way. So I'll go ahead and run this line of code and you can see now that uh, basically it took well what was in sheet one here, A1, and then pasted it to the second book down here. This is book two uh, in sheet one, cell A1. So that's a way you can use range.copy to paste between workbooks, worksheets, or just ranges within your workbook. That video was from my VBA Pro course. If you enjoyed it, click here to get access to my free training series on macros and VBA. You will also receive information on the course. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.